Okay, everybody, we are done with the, we are done removing the knot, so now we just move our brake caliper out of the way, we just need to MacGyver this thing in, it, it can be a hassle sometimes, because this thing likes to be a hassle, when it, when it doesn't need to be a hassle. Okay, I'm just going to go turn the steering wheel. I'll be back. Okie dokie. Just needed to get this thing in. Oh, this one just slides in. You see? I'm going to show you something. Creepy cool. Okay, so we just need a hammer. Where did I put my hammer? Oh, yeah, yes. Now we could move it. Okay, we're just going to. We're just going to tap it. We just get a better angle. Get the nut, okay? We can turn it back now. Now, an easy way of telling when it's fastened. This one has a seal as well. We're just going to move the seal to there, or just, just so it has a little bit of gap. It's okay. Let's come over here. Okie dokie, so now it's quite easy. We just take our nut. I'm going to start using forbidden language. Okay, this nut, the first bit of this nut is a 
it tends quite to lose this okay we're just going to going to put in our screw drive here like this come on screw drive just for the beginning because it's not the shafts were a little bit hurt when I when I removed them because somebody dropped the shaft on the head so I need to to regrind it the, wait it's not standing wait it's not it's not correct there it's turning it's not turning on correctly We just tighten. So I'll be back when I am done tightening. So this is going to take a while. Okay, okay. So this is tightened, so now we put this thing over. We just tap in this way. We just tap in this way. Okay. I just want to make sure about something, so I'm not going to. I'm not going to tighten that spay yet. But now we can do the bags quickly. It's a little light, but we can do the bags. It's okay. We just need to turn. Okay. So this is our brake caliper. I'm going to. I'm just going to bolt it to the to the axle quickly first before we continue. So I'll be back. I know this is a lot. I'll be back. But I just need to bolt it quickly because. Oh yes. Before we can bolt it. This is our wheel hub. Or not hub disc. So we just need to look here. Yeah, here two. To holes where they should be. Now we just slide on, and we're going to take two nuts like these and just tie them down quickly. The only reason we're doing this is to keep the hub at one position because we need to install the brakes. Nice mistake. Okay, so we're done for that. So where did you pull? Can you get it off? So now I can show you this. It's not that long. You just take the hub. You slide it over here. This thing, the brake pad should not be should be in because I'm going to show how to take them apart. Okay. Then there's one small bolt. We can untie this now. Kudos to this LED step. It lasted a week. I think I lifted like this.
Und der Ego ist der LED. Das ist nicht so ein Teil wie. Wenn dieser auch der LED ist, das ist auch so. Don't even feel bad for the LED. Now we just need to bend this. Make sure you don't break it and then we just put in the bolt here. Just pull it out and make sure you just go a little bit like this. Okay, so I'm quickly going to tighten these and these in the back. Then I'm going to bring you over here so you can see what I need to do. Okay, okay. So, okay, first of all, before we take any of this stuff out, you take a screwdriver, you put it in there, you just wedge it a little, and now you push it. And now, as you can see, the brake pad is moving backwards. You can see that. Okay, now it has these two little okay like i said every bag the brakes are more or less the same but okay these ones have these little clips you need to take out at the top and at the bottom okay. and then you could just take out your pins and then these are not correctly installed i just want to let you know these people that install these they are not a correct thing so okay, now we take out the okay we'll put in this one first here are new brake pads and with these brake pads you get these two things now we don't use that one because our brakes don't use that one so we'll put this aside okay in the brake pads so i don't know if this one had is oh yes these brake pads have shims now you some people take out the shims some people leave them in shims are there it, eh, it kind of works like it keeps the brake pad cool if if that's if i that's how i understand it so you take our shims again this is the wrong way you take a brake pad like this and you put it in these holes need to be on this side. So now we just take a back part. You need to, if it's not precise, it's not going to fail. You need to take on the shim. That goes. You see, it's the shims, but you need to put them in. It's a must. Now we take a. Uh, I want to put it, I put the pins from that side, so I'm not going to do that. Now we do the same with this one. I'm just going to put the pins here, so the brake pad doesn't move. I like putting them in from that side. You can put them in. I don't think there's a way you should put them in. I just think you need to put them in. Okay, there it is. You could see, if you see there, the mm, brake fluid is popping out because my bottle is a little too old. Now we just take out the pads. As you can see, these pads, uh, they uh, still have a little life in them, but it's dangerous to drive on these because these are these are met, these are already on the metal side and it could cause a few problems. As you can see, this is not. This is not completely metal. It's a coated metal. Okay. Just take these. Put them in like this. And now we just need to slide in. Oh wait, I'm doing it. Wait, I'm doing it correctly. I don't know. This, I don't know what this thing is, but we'll leave it in. Just make sure your things are in line and your shims are not doing as mine are. You see that it's good? Okay. Take the pins out. Put them in from this side. 
flawless okay now this little thingy take like this like i said maybe you could change but if you have this one you could up there and there go back to a spare little then you put it in over there and you push it like that so it goes to that one and it goes to that one at the top you don't normally have one at the top so if you like i say always if you can't put in one in the top put it in but if you can't don't worry now we just put in these like so just, just turn a little bit a little too flat a little too little like so and as you can see there are brakes done so all we need to do now is go in the car but i'm not going to do that now i just want to ask somebody a question about this thingy so that's it for today we've done our wheels and our hubs are installed and our brakes are done so like share and subscribe and maybe i'll give you the old disc pads bye bye hey everybody this is the last update so these are the wheels you can see it's been it's been the, the brake calibers seem to be fine and you can see all our shafts are still more or less intact it seems <coughs> let's quickly look this side this side still needs to wear but it's it's wearing quite nicely here we could see my hand is not even there but it's here but it's it, it is wearing quite nicely off here it has a few dents in it because <coughs> this is the wheel that caused the trouble everything looks good here and i've been driving about a month now with these new buildings and they seem fine so it looks like we did a good job so thank you all for watching and we'll still love you beautiful people next time bye bye